welcome to the program this week the opposition parties in india have raised a very ser serious issue with the president of the country demanding a very important significant action on what is called the pegasus issue the pegasus issue is simply put a development in which the phones of many indians have been compromised the phones have been infected with a software called pegasus developed by an israeli company nsg group and as a result of it the phones which are using the whatsapp have been taken over by external agencies this is a very serious issue because in india almost 40 crores of people are using whatsapp on their phone now this particular software called pegasus developed by an israeli agency comes into your phone in the form of a message and once you click on the message that software gets installed in your phone and every activity in the phone every application in the phone becomes available to an external agency it can be an enemy it can be a it can be a secret agency it can be any dangerous groups whatever so what has happened in india is that almost 120 people have been received have received this kind of a message through which pegasus has have be, has been installed in their phone and uh, how did it come into the public uh, awareness it is not because the in government of india informed anybody about it what has happened is that recently the facebook company which owns the whatsapp filed a case in a californian court against the israeli company called nsg group the facebook company said that the nsg group has gate crashed into the whatsapp applications in various fonts and compromised this the data of its customers this is a very important a very serious compromise of personal information personal privacy which is which is a which is a human right in the present circumstances so whatsapp has said that all over the world around 4400 persons have been attacked in this way by this israeli agency in india around 120 people have been attacked by this way and who are the people who became victims of this attack on their pri privacy by this secret agencies that is the most important thing the 120 people who were attacked include human rights lawyers dalit activists professional writers people who are opposed to the central government and its activities people who are seriously criticizing the central government and its agencies all over the country people who have been involved in various campaigns against the atrocities conducted by the central agencies among them are people who were involved in the cases connected with bima koregaon incidents the lead activists human rights lawyers and uh, and that kind of people according to the information available to us 
among those who are attacked by this particular software are lawyer Nihal Singh Rathod, academic Anil Teltum, Anand Teltum, a very famous Dalit historian and writer, Dalit activist Vivek Sundara, human rights lawyer Jagdish Meshram, human rights activist Rona Wilson and many others. You should remember that people write Rona Wilson, people write Anand Teltumde have been already being attacked by the central government and they are facing cases. Some of them are already in jail. Now it was their phones that was taken over by external agencies and it is after that many of these people have been proceeded against by the central agencies. Now this raises a question. Who are the people who actually installed this nefarious instrument in their phone? One thing is very clear. It is not, it is not for money that this work has been done. Because these people are not in a position to pay huge amounts of money. Secondly, according to the company that generated, produced the software, they, that is NSG Group, they say that we are producing this, we are cooperating with central government agencies, federal agencies in various countries in order to tackle the activities of terrorists and extremist organizations. So they say that we are selling our software to government agencies in their effort to fight terrorist and extremist activists. So it is very clear that this software was purchased and used not by private agencies but clearly by central government agencies. And thirdly, it is not easy to buy this thing. First, private individuals will not be able to buy it. Secondly, it costs very huge amount of money. According to information available right now, the Mexican government had imported this thing and they had paid $80 million for the particular software. So it's a huge amount of money which only the government agencies can pay for this kind of an activity. Now in India, it is very clear that the government has been targeting specific human rights activists, political activists, people who are opposed to their ideology in recent years. And there are number of cases, false cases, foisted upon such activists. Among them are people like Anand Deltumde, Rona Wilson and many others. And it is their phones that have been taken over and messages uh, are generated compromising them. This is the situation right now. But the, what, is the, what is the response of the government of India? The Home Ministry says that uh, we are concerned about it. The Information Technology Minister also says that we are concerned about, we are taking, uh, taking very serious action about it. But what action are they uh, taking about it? The fact is that the government of India has been informed about this kind of activities at least four months back. Or almost six months back. Because according to Facebook, they had informed, WhatsApp had informed a central government agency called CERT-IN, that is Computer Emergency Response Team in India, that such activities are going on. They did not take any action about it. It is only after, in recent weeks, the Facebook company filed a case against this Israeli company that the government says that we are looking into the matter. Why did they? Why did they? Why did they keep mum about it in the last uh, in the, the last three four months when they were aware of the, what is going on in the country when they were aware that 
number of Indian fonts have been compromised, number of Indian citizens have been compromised. So it is very clear that the government of India has serious questions before it. They will have answer, provide answer from the concerned citizens why their privacy has been compromised in this way. Why their freedom is being compromised in this way? This is a very serious issue because in the present circumstances, digital privacy is extremely important. Once you lose your digital, digital privacy, you are in trouble. Anything can happen to you. That is why the opposition parties have serious, have, have raised very serious questions about it. And Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi said that it is the government of India which has been using this software to spy upon the citizens of this country with ulterior motives. If that is the truth, then it is a very, very serious thing. A government of India, agency using a soft Israeli software to spy upon the citizens of this country. That is something very, very, very a dangerous situation. We cannot, we cannot outsource our security to a country like Israel. Israel has its own uh, uh, negative, uh, ultimate, ulterior motives. It is a country which cannot be trusted. Now, is the Indian government in such a compromising position with the Israeli agencies? And what? are the real motives behind it. These are the questions being asked in the Pegasus affair. And uh, since the government of India is not really forthcoming with answers, the Indian opposition parties have asked the president of India to demand an explanation about it, to demand a, an inquiry into this matter, because this is a matter of very serious concern for every citizens of this country and uh, it's a question of our privacy it's a question of our freedom thank you